Hello everyone, welcome back once again. I'm Nicodemus Kane. Today is September the 9th of 2022. That is 996. Remember, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. So it's a 996. You can invert that to a 666 or a 999. Um, either way, it's one of those days. Um, yesterday we had uh, Queen of England died. Elizabeth. I don't know which one it is. I don't care. I'm not going to give her that much time. But um, it's interesting that she passes away, passes away right before 9-9-2022. Um, somebody was saying something about that it's nine days after. Because I just saw stuff about Princess Diana. That was, Is it nine days after Princess Diana died? Let me see. August the 31st. <laughs> so it's nine days after that. She was buried September the 6th. So she was buried on a 9-6. Tell me that this isn't... Tell me. Come on now. So, but it was... Nine days after that, and nine days before something, I don't remember, something about Charles. I don't remember exactly what it is, and of course, I don't know. So anyways, um, I am not going to, I'm not going to mourn a eugenicist. I am not going to mourn, first of all, somebody that says just because their blood is better than mine that they get to rule over me, even though we don't live in Britain, but whatever. Anyways, I'm not going to mourn somebody that says their blood is better than mine, and I'm definitely not going to mourn someone that says that thinks that we should all be dead, because that's what they do. So don't give it the time of day. See it for what it is, though. See it for what it is. See it for the fact that things are ramping up at this point, and their plans are being pushed faster and faster now. They are pushing as hard as they can to get everything moving because they want us all completely and totally locked down and enslaved. Before 2030, that's their goal. Now, I heard somebody say that they now have plans for 2050. Um, if, if we even make it that long, I don't even know. Um, but just be ready. Use your discernment. Be prepared. Whatever's coming. Because there is a lot of evil being thrown around in the world. And this happening, how it happened, the way that it happened, the dates that it happened... This is the season of evil. I, I I have a pretty good feeling that 9-11 is going to be pretty interesting. I can almost guarantee that 9-23 is going to be extremely interesting. Uh, we have seen 9-23 encoding in everything, yet we have not had the big one come around. Uh, it's coming up. It's It's coming up. This is their season of evil. It starts in September. And it goes all the way through until the sun starts coming back, which is the solstice, or not the solstice. Uh, yes, the solstice, the December solstice. Yes. Uh, anyways. Um, but it doesn't end until then. And even then, you know, it just ramps up more and more. But we see it. We've We've seen it coming for a long time. There are a lot of people that I have been listening to that if they've just given up, they've just pretty much given up. And they've said, if you're not ready by now, then you're just dead. Um, there are a lot of people that are sounding the alarms as much as possible. Nobody's listening. Uh, just like me, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's listening to anybody trying to sound the alarms. Um, it's big stuff though. It's big stuff, but do not give 
a eugenicist the time of day. Do not mourn for somebody that wanted you dead. Just remember the Psalms said that we will be dancing and singing when God lets loose his judgment upon them. So, I'm not... I don't have any sympathy for this. I'm sorry. It's it's one less eugenicist in the world. But it also... It also means that their plans are, are starting to ramp up. So just be ready. Be prepared. Um, anyways, we're going to continue on day three of our little uh, expedition out into Little Egypt, Illinois. Um, if this movie will ever up upload. I uh, was checking to see if everything had uploaded. And of course, I missed one. So I'm sitting here waiting for it to upload because Google Drive is not perfect <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. It seems like it's constantly either dropping one or, you know, I'm missing one or something. And uh, so now I'm having to sit here and wait. So I figured while we wait, we would talk about just the evil of the world. And there you go. That's what it is. It, it's... I, I even said... One of the dates we had to look for was uh, September the 9th. It's a 9-9. Nine, nine. They love their 9s. They love their 6s. They love their inversions. So 666 six, six is, you know, 999 nine, nine, or just a 9. You know, they absolutely love their inversions. Um, the fact that she was 96 <laughs> points something, you know. Should point something out to you. Um, I'm surprised that she couldn't hold on until 99, but they want... If she held on until she was 99, that would have been 2025. And those numbers don't line up. That That would not have... That would not have lined up for their plans. So it's... It had to be that way, sadly. No, I don't want that. I want this. I'm trying to move this move this file over. And make sure that it's in here so we can start. Yeah, there we go. There were a couple other pictures that Angie took for me. Um, she got some good pictures. I'll tell you what, man. She got some really good pictures. And... She also took a lot of selfies, which I she is not a selfie person, and I don't know why she took selfies, but she did. I'm 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 my woman. I love her, but what are you doing, <laughs> Angie? What are you doing? So, anyways, um, there was one. There's a couple of these she took that I wanted to update or upload as well two three four okay let's upload these and then we will get started it's taking me a second again because she she just gave me the pictures yesterday she just gave me the pictures yesterday and then I looked through them and I was like, there's only really a couple of them because they had to do with what I was wanting to talk about. So, where are they at? Get this in here. Do, do, do. We're waiting. I. Uh, all you do with computers anymore you just sit and wait all right one two three four there we go okay so we'll throw those in there and they come up at the very bottom all right so let me put that there so of course day one we did 
the uh, Angel Mounds in Evansville. Day two, we did Cahokia and the uh, Piasaw Bird, and you know. Day three is, let me make sure that we are in here. We're good. Day three, we went down south. We went to, we went from up by St. Louis, which is the far east, far eastern point of Illinois. We went down to the far southern point of Illinois, which is Cairo, Cairo, Illinois. The reason that we went down to Cairo is because the solar eclipses that happened over America, the one that the one that we had back in was it 2017? The one we had back in 2017 made an arc across across the United States from I think it went from west to east. There's another one coming up in 2024. These are total eclipses. The next one we got coming up is in 2024, uh, April the 8th of 2024, which is the beginning of the Hebrew calendar of, of April the 8th. It's a very interesting timing. We'll be going, if, I, if I'm right, if it's going from east to west. And where these two lines cross is right over top of this convergence, confluence is what they call it, of the... Missouri, Ohio, and Mississippi River. I don't think it's dead on perfect for the confluence, but it's pretty close. And the city that sits right there on top of the confluence is Cairo, Illinois. Now, Cairo is a ghost town. It's all but abandoned. I mean, it's just completely dead. Uh, the main drag that drives right through it, there's nothing out there. It's, it's like very few people and if there are people, then, you know, they're the kind of people you don't really want to deal with too much. You know what I mean? Uh, not like they're, you know, bad, crazy thugs or anything. They're just, we saw a bunch of people that looked like they were drugged out of their minds. So we didn't want to, we didn't want to deal with it. Um, but it was completely abandoned. The only thing that was out there were people that were driving through it to get to, to the highway because there's a highway that's south of Cairo that goes from Missouri through Illinois into Ohio and Kentucky. So it's just a place, it's just a crossroads where these people just drive through. That's it. That's pretty much all it is. Now, it used to be big. It used to be big back in the day because of the confluence. People used to go out there, and, you know, look at the look at the rivers and they had a little thing set up out there and we got pictures of that stuff but as far as the city itself as far as cairo which i did not know it was a ghost town it's it's dead it's a ghost town it is completely gone um but i had to take this picture because every time you see cairo they they show this image. This is historic downtown Cairo. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of wiping my nose. But every time they show anything about Cairo, they show this. This is, you know, this is proof that I went to Cairo. But it's nothing. It's completely dead. We didn't even get out of the car. Uh, this, You can see the reflection in the mirror. We did not even get out of the car. It was, it was that kind of crazy. Um, here's this, this little sign that we found. When you go down to the very tip of Illinois, there's a little parking lot out there, uh, completely torn up. It's just, there's just litter everywhere. The signs that they have are all falling apart. You can definitely tell that no one's been out there to clean the place up in a while. It's pretty bad how it's falling apart. But uh, there's a little history here for you. I don't know if you can read it. You can stop and read it if you want to. I think I got a couple of these. Yeah. I don't know if this one's any better or not. But you can look at that. These signs are old. Uh, these signs were put... This is... What is that? 64? 84? 64. So I was saying back in the 50s and the 60s, this place was probably rocking. I mean, this place was probably pretty big tourist destination. So, 
It was interesting. So everything down here, of course, on the Mississippi River is Lewis and Clark, erected in 2003. <laughs> but still, man, it's all falling apart. It's absolutely falling apart. So there's another one of those. I took several copies of pictures just to make sure everything turned out. The beginning of the third principal meridian is located on the Ohio River, 1,735 feet directly north of this point. Okay. In November 1803, this is the mouth of the Ohio River at this location. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, this is still all stuff that was out there. It's talking about the confluence. You can see this sign is withering away. Just absolutely falling apart. Uh, just more stuff. It talks about how the rivers come together. Again, Cairo is at the very bottom right there. Cahokia up here at the top. That's interesting that they had it up there. Um, but still more stuff here. You can just... Everything out there was falling apart. This place was completely just dying. Uh, some more stuff about... This is part of how they transported Native Americans out of the East. And they were transporting them um, out into the West. So this is part of the Trail of Tears, is what we were reading, which was very interesting to kind of hear about and read. Um, again, you can pause all of that if you want, rewind, go back. Is this, is this the same picture? Did I take two of these pictures? I took two of these pictures. I took two of everything, guys. That's awesome. Um, but again, I don't know why this is cut off. But again, this is... This is how they made them pass through. See, here's the southern tip right here. This little image right here, that's the southern tip. This is this is like a little park area where we went to. This is the only road that, that comes down that comes down, but it just goes down into a highway. And uh everybody it's like I said, it's all people do. It's just drive through just to get to the highway. That's all it is. Uh but this is how they pushed all the Native Americans out. And one of the ways that they brought them through was over the river, right here. Uh, the same picture. Yeah, I got a better shot of that. Two pictures of everything. Two pictures of everything. So when you get down to the very bottom, there is a... It's kind of like a little uh, platform. It's like two stories and you walk up one and on that first floor, there's like a, an old, uh, it looked like it was either an old snack shop or it was an old drink shop. Might've even been an old souvenir shop. I don't even know, but you could buy stuff there and you can come and hang on the railing and you look out and this is the view that you can look out at. And you've got the, you got the Ohio river on the left. You got the Missouri river on the right and you got the Mississippi on the bottom. This is where they all connect and go through. So you can climb up that, but then there's another tower on top of it that you can climb up to and get, you know, this is the best view that you can get. But it's basically, you know, you just come up here and look. It was pretty neat. I mean, it was, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was neat as hell to see. It's just three main rivers that, you know, connect together. <laughs> it's basically all it is. But it just, oh, no, I don't want to do that. It just spreads all the way around. Litter everywhere. Uh, it's just, people just didn't care. Yeah, this, again, this place looked like it was abandoned. Nobody's been taking care of it for I don't know how long. Um, we saw a wasp nest. We kept warning people because um, down here on the, on the uh, concessions level, I guess you want to say it, there was a door that had this wasp nest. I've never seen a wasp nest that big, but it was just full of just wasps. And we kept telling people just to watch out whenever they passed by because it was crazy. Um, again, that's the Ohio. I took a lot of pictures of this stuff. I don't even know why. That's the front. That's the again the Mississippi and the Missouri. This is, we got down a little bit towards the bank, and you can actually walk all the way down to the water. 
Uh, this is looking back on the Ohio. There was a bridge. We actually crossed that bridge. That's Kentucky over there. But we actually crossed that bridge to get over in Kentucky. And I think we... No, it's not that one. It was another one that we crossed to get back in Illinois. Because we went down to Kentucky and it took us to over the northern tip of Kentucky in order to get us back up to the uh, Kincaid Mounds. Which the Kincaid Mounds are cool too. We got to see that stuff. Alright, I'm blowing my nose. Hold on a second. which I have a ton of pictures of all this stuff. We, um, yesterday I, I went through like 120 something pictures today. It's like 200 and 220 something. We had a lot of pictures from, from the third day. Cause it was amazing. So this was Missouri river looking, looking up to the North. There's a bridge over that way. Just giving you an idea what it looked like again there's another one it's it was really cool it was really cool to kind of go down there and look uh but then of course they all converge together like i said and then that's the mississippi and that's how the mississippi flows out uh here is another here's another panoramic shot this is down this is down on the beach itself um i have a feeling they either used to let people swim out here or there was a dock or something because over this way there was a parking lot and uh, I was like I bet you they used to let people swim here but I it was either that or a dry dock I couldn't tell because it was all overgrown because again nobody cares trash everywhere and it's like I said they just they it's almost like they've just abandoned this it's like nobody cares anymore but again, this is all the way around. There was a guy down here that Angie was talking to. Angie is actually in this picture, supposedly, but she was talking to this guy. Uh, but she did not show up in the picture. I think it's hilarious. But it, it was just like some dude and his wife would just happen to be down here. And, you know, she just started talking to him. Um, yeah, no more dead fish everywhere. You could see dead fish floating in the water. I don't know if there was one. There was one down here that kept kind of bobbing up. It was just insane. But, of course, it smelled like, you know, it smelled like a river. It smelled like dead fish. But then, you know, trash everywhere. That's another nice one. I'm thinking that's the panoramic that keeps screwing up. I don't know. Um. All right. Hold on a second. I recorded this one too. I don't remember what I said here, and I don't know if this is going to show up very well because it was windy. It, of course, it was overcast. Like I said, it was it rained all weekend, but we actually had it overcast. But it, the sun came out for a while. We were traveling so much that the uh, you know we were we would pull out of a place where it was raining into a place that was sunny, back into a place that was raining. It was a lot. So let's see what I have to say here. If it'll play. So here you guys go. This is the confluence, the place where the Ohio River, this is the Ohio River, and this is the Missouri River. That's Missouri over there, formed to make the Mississippi. And that over there is Kentucky. And that, uh, this is where the eclipse is gonna cross. This is the Big X. Apparently they say that it's going to cross over there somewhere, I don't know. So uh, we had to come down here, southern tip. This is the end of Illinois. So, but this is, <laughs> this is where whatever's going to happen is going to happen. This is uh, August the 8th, I think is what they said, 2024. April the 8th. The eclipse, the, the solar eclipse, August. the solar eclipse is supposed to come right across here because the other one already came around the other way. So this is, uh, this is going to be it. Who knows what's going to happen? There's a fault line that supposedly runs from here all the way due north, northeast that runs up through Indianapolis. And they say that, uh, Earthquakes tend to follow solar eclipses. We'll see. I'm not going to predict anything. I'm just saying that it's interesting that we have a 
two solar eclipses seven years apart from each other one of them winds up right on top of right on top of a place called Cairo where these rivers meet in a place of little Egypt I'm not saying it I'm just this is why we came down here we're just trying to find the answers but this was the stop this was our stop here we're gonna go uh, we're gonna head up to we're gonna head up to the uh, Garden of the Gods next we're gonna hit um, the mounds what is it the Kincaid mounds um, next and then we're gonna hit the Garden of the Gods and the Shawnee National Forest and then uh, who knows what else <laughs> Angie Angie found somebody to talk to over there of course she did so this is the there's a building up there it looks like they used to have like a place a uh, little rest area that people used to come into it's all worn down man Cairo is dead it is a dead city it is a ghost town it is scary I did not want to get out of the car so we didn't we stayed in the car we just took some pictures from the car and then we ran off so, but it is dead Cairo is gone so I don't know man something to it we've been hearing a lot about the trail of tears out here and that makes you think too where they moved all the Native Americans off of this land but there were people living here before that because you know everybody that moved in here said that they just came in and occupied all this stuff so something else was going on too I don't know so anyways that's this I will see you guys later so that was that there's more shots of that was that's the Missouri you know once you get down to the very tip um, oh I was taking pictures it's like a, a bridge out here it's like half a bridge that they either disassembled or something happened to it I just thought it was weird it was just like a half bridge out there so when we were done with the confluence we drove to Kincaid, and again, it took us up and around over over the bridge, over the Ohio River into Kentucky. And the way that the GPS took us, it took us right past something called the Wycliffe Mounds. Now, this was something I was not prepared for, but we said, let's stop. Let's go look at it, see what it is. So we went in. I took some pictures. Um, I did not take any pictures of any mounds. <laughs> I didn't. There was we didn't go in. There was a museum there, and there was trails there. But it was I was like, we have so much other stuff we have to do. We cannot stop here. Um, and it didn't look like there was much here, really. I'm sure there was, but we uh, we stopped. We went in. I grabbed a bunch of brochures um, just to see what it was. So this is this. You can pause this if you want. But there was a, like I said, there was a museum there. Apparently the guy that opened this place up, um, from what the girls inside said, a lot of the stuff that was in here was from this guy's personal collection. And everything that was in the museum was a mound that they dug up. So there's a building off to the right of this that you can kind of see in there. It's just, it's an excavation site is all it is. They just completely obliterated a mound, built a building over top of it, and then put a museum on it. That's what they did. Um, but all the stuff that we saw inside of this little um, gift shop, if you want, was all from this guy's personal collection. I guess this guy had saved all this stuff for years. Um, same symbology. We saw this at the uh, at Cahokia. It's the sun symbol with the uh, spirals, with the bird heads. Same symbology. Same old stuff. I thought it was interesting. I started thinking about the four corners of the earth on this one. Just I don't know why I started thinking about it. I just it was something that popped into my head. Um, Great River Road Interpretive Center. You know, this is the Great River Road that we, uh, we, you can drive up. This is where you get to see, like, the Piasaw Bird. I don't know if they actually have it. Yeah, they do. So, Collinsville is where, is where, uh, Cahokia is. Alton is where the Piasaw Bird is. Uh, but then you can take the whole road up 
and apparently there's stuff all up and down this. They have Cairo on there. Cairo, Wycliffe, all this stuff, and I guess it goes down through Memphis, um, and there's things everywhere, all the way down through this, all the way down to New Orleans. I would not mind taking that trip. I really wouldn't. I would not mind taking that whole trip from top to bottom and seeing what's on this. Um, because I am pretty sure that has got to be, that has got to be a cool experience. That might be something that's coming up down the line. I don't know. I'd love to. I'd love to try that. Three thousand miles, though. That's that's like a week trip. So this is uh, the guy that opened up this one. This is all his stuff. It was same old kind of you know artifacts that we've seen before. Uh, nothing new, really. Nothing new that I see, but it's just the same old stuff over and over and over again. Uh, here's another one. This might be a little better picture. This is not as blurry. Same old effigies, big noses, big ears. I always like to point that out, big noses, big ears, because we're, we're told that these people were a certain way, but when you when you look at these effigies, um, they all have big noses, big ears. There's something to it, big lips. Just, just something to point out. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this is, again, that's that symbolism. I don't know if this says, it uh, doesn't say. Can't tell what else is. Can't tell what those pictures are. I didn't. We didn't stay in here very long. Like I said, as soon as we got in, I was like, eh, "We got to get going." But then we started talking to these to the women that were in here, and uh, they were telling us about everything, and and I was telling them, you know, we're just we're going around, we're trying to find out, you know what was here we're finding out that just about everything that was here all these all the mississippians seems like they were all connected in some way shape or form and i said the the gods that these people worshipped are very similar to babylonian and assyrian gods i said there's something going on there um but again though their eyes didn't completely glaze over but you could kind of see that whole you know we're not listening kind of look that kind of came on them. So it was just kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wasting my breath trying to talk to these girls, but this is supposedly Wycliffe. I don't know. Again, it was, it was kind of small and we didn't go see it. We didn't check it out, but it was, it's there. It's a thing. So this is the Kincaid Mounds. So this, we had to drive forever. It was, what was it, an hour, hour and 45 minutes to get down to Cairo. And then it was another hour and a half to get out to the Kincaid Mounds. And this is on a dirt road to end all dirt roads. I mean, it was... You're driving so far out of your way to find this place. But once you get there, it's pretty darn amazing. It really, really was. It's just a little tiny parking lot with this little tiny this little tiny uh, stand where you can just go out and look at it. You can't go out into the mounds. You can't go out on the property. You can just look at it. But these were huge. These were huge mounds. And I was amazed because <laughs> I thought it was just like I thought it was just three humps in a field but this is something else this was this was something absolutely amazing so we got out here this is the road um I don't know if you could tell this is the butterfly road when you drive down this road it's butterflies everywhere uh, they were all resting on the road and as you drove up on it they would just start flying away so you know it was the weirdest, coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, just all these butterflies. But you see, it's just a little tiny parking lot with a little tiny thing. And you got the mounds back here. I think there were five mounds. One, two, three. I think there's one behind this one. Or no, there's one behind this one. 
Here's another one of these where it's two levels. You got the big hump, and then you got the you got the big long hump in the back. So it's it's a two step. It's a pyramid. This is a pyramid mound. This is <laughs> this is why I told my uh, I told my uh, my people that I, that I work with yesterday in our meeting. They asked us what we did for Labor Day, and I said I went pyramid mound hunting, and then I had to explain it to them. I said because there are pyramid mounds all over Illinois and Kentucky and Tennessee and we're going to go try to see as many of them as we can they said well we never heard of that I said yeah not many people have heard of this so but this was this was the Kincaid Mouse it was amazing like I said here's another one of this one it's you got the big hump in the front and you got the long back on it and you got you can't really see it very well on this one the front end of it and I'm not going to say it looks like a Sphinx, but it looks like a Sphinx, just like the other ones. It was interesting. Um, you can read through this. Same old stuff. You can pause it if you want to. There is not a house out here anymore. There's nothing out here anymore. Um, again, it's just, it's all farmland. And the road, again, the road you had to take same same picture the road you had to take to get out here is just crazy absolutely crazy so this gives you an understanding of how big it is um, there is a river that runs through here there's a tree line over here on the right where this fence right here is again it's another one of these stockade fences what are they protecting themselves from this is where the road is that we that we had to bring in. The um, visitor stand, whatever you want to call it, would have been right over in this area somewhere. But this is the one with the the mound on the top, and it had the long plaza on it, or the long uh, long back end on it. These are the two. This is the biggest one right here. And again, these are you know twenty, thirty feet high. They're, they're the size of houses. It's crazy. There were more way back here that were hidden inside of the tree line we were like oh, it says that there's more back this way and as we were driving away you could look back in the tree line you could see these big huge hills back here it's like that's it there, that's the other one right there but this whole thing apparently what they say is the whole thing had the fence around it and it was a whole city but these guys build it exactly like everybody else does so it's it's uh it's crazy you know, but it's the same, same time, same time frame. This one's a little bit, seems like it's a little bit younger, 1050 to 1450. Um, here we go again, though. Built in stages over a 400 year period by stacking basket loads of selected soil, one on top of the other, all so that a chief could live on top. 400 years. So that some guy's great 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 grandson could live there. That sounds crazy to me. It's another picture of that. Here's the map, so you can pause that to read all that stuff if you need to. But this is this is the wall that they said they built. That's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. So again, the main plaza, that's the, the big one right there. That's the tall one right there. We were right here. Um, but then these there were these other ones that were way out here. When, you, when you're driving down the dirt road, if anybody ever wants to go see this, you're on a dirt road. Um, it's like brown clay. I, th I thought it was a brown clay road. I, I don't know what it was. But it was it's just loose gravel. It's loose dirt. Don't go too fast because this stuff kicks up everywhere. But you drive down this road and there's more of them down here and it loops it loops through the countryside. We spent we went way out of our way. You you will burn a lot of time just going out here to check these out, but it was it was worth the trip. It was cool as hell. It was cool as hell, man. It was neat. It's absolutely neat. It was I was not prepared, you know, cuz we we got so bummed out by the uh, by the emerald mounds 
because they were just two humps in a field. We're like, eh, Kincaid, whatever. We're just going to get out. We're going to take some pictures. But no, this was, it was pretty neat. It was pretty interesting. Um, that one's, that one's the big one, I think. And then of course that was the one in the middle. This is the, the one in the side. I think this one's the, the, yeah, that's the one that's got the hump, the hump to it. Again, looking at it, I was like, it looks just like the back of a sphinx. Now I'm not saying that's what they are. They could have made this to, to resemble that, but then still had a house up here. But again, you're wasting all this time to build this thing. And just for a guy that's not even going to be born by the time that it's just, it's wild. So this is the dirt road. This is what I'm saying. This is, it's just gravel and dirt. Um, but butterflies everywhere. It was beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. As you drove down here, just butterflies just kept flying. It was absolutely incredible. I wish I had my granddaughter with us so she can go because you can, you can just go out there and walk and just butterflies would just fly up right in your face too. It's crazy. Um, let's go back here for a second. But as you went back down this one, because this is just a little bit away from uh, the Kincaid Mounts, right over here in the tree line. We drove really slow, and we were looking, and we could see the other mounds. And I had heard that they have problems with people coming out here and going out and digging in the mounds, and, you know, because it's not really protected. They say they have a camera out there, but <laughs> what, you know, I don't know how good that's, what good that's going to do you. Um, but again, this is a windy, windy road. No signal whatsoever. You, there's zero signal. The GPS was holding on for dear life. Uh, trying to get us out of this thing because we were so far out in the middle of nowhere. So then we hit the Garden of the Gods. And um, this is, it's not really man-made. It's all natural formations. Even though when you look at parts of this, you're going to wonder exactly what's going on here. Because there were places in here let me just make sure we're still good. Yeah, we're still good. There were places in here that just looked weird. And I took a lot of pictures because it just, it was a little strange. But it was a half mile loop. It took 30 minutes. We took actually an hour. Um, if you just walk the thing, it takes you 30 minutes. But we it took us about an hour to get, to get all the way around it. Um, but it goes up and through and they let you walk right out on the rocks. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, more stuff. Shawnee National Forest. This is a depiction of the Camel Rock. This is not a good depiction of the Camel Rock. There are. It's better. It's better than this. Believe me. Um, of course, they they push the whole three hundred and twenty million years. At least that's what they say. That there was sea that came all the way through here and there was water everywhere. I will believe that there was water everywhere, but I don't, I will not subscribe to this 320 million year stuff. They can say that all they want. My nose is running today. That's so great. And it'll probably stop running as soon as I stop talking. But, uh,. <laughs> They say this is all sea. This is all water. It just, you know, somehow miraculously it all stopped right here where the supposed glacier was. So we were talking about it. And I said, what if it was a fast moving glacier? I mean, what if something happened up north that pushed ice and water down as fast as possible? And then what happened was. It melted quickly because it wasn't supposed to be there. And as it melted, all the water just came down here, and then eventually all the water flushed down through the Mississippi River Valley. They just flushed down really quick instead of, you know, taking millions and millions of years to do, you know, because it happens both ways. So what if that's what it was? If it just, it all filled up with the water from the glaciers pushed out as fast as possible and then you know we were we were speculating a lot we were talking about it you know a lot in the car just trying to figure it out because i don't i don't buy this you know took millions and millions of years thing 
I, th I would think that if it took millions and millions of years, there would be millions and millions of years of erosion on a lot of this stuff. And there's just not. It's not millions and millions of years of erosion. All of this stuff in here looks really good, to be honest with you. Once you see some of the pictures that we took, you'll be like, you know, if, if this took millions of years, why is this not all worn down completely? Because it's just so, it's amazing once you get into it. But they got the trail. Again, you go through, there's several places where you can stop and look and, you know, all the stuff. But then the bluffs are out here. People were walking out on the bluffs. It was crazy. It was like, it was like, what are you doing? What are you guys doing out here on the bluffs? So we went out here and then this is what you see. Stuff like this, you know, sedimentary layers. Um, but then you start seeing these lines. This one's got a line right here. This line that goes straight through the top right here. That's like a cutout. It's like a channel of water. And I started seeing that, and that's the stuff that I started focusing on. Because I said, that just doesn't look right. It looks weird to me. But you see a lot of this stuff, especially especially the ones like this. I was looking at the bottom of this and said, you know, what if that's a mushroom? What if that's what this was? Just a big old mushroom farm. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. But where they say this was, the water level was, this is just the top of the path. This is the top of the path. You actually go up and then you go down. And on the very bottom... They have a rock that you'll see it. They have a rock that has all these kind of um, weird shapes in it that look like coral reefs. You know, the stuff you see at the bottom of the ocean. And I was like, okay, that's on the bottom here. Uh, but why do the ones on top have this stuff too? It's weird. We'll get to it. We'll get more into it as we go. Um, but again, this is the other side. Same thing. This channel right here, right through the middle of this. Now, if that's water, I will I will agree that it's water. But if it's water, why did it cut in a channel and not cut the rest of this stuff out? Water's weird. I get it. Rocks are weird. I get it. Um, their explanation was something like there was high iron deposits. And what happened was the, the water levels, as the water levels went down, this filled up with rust of, from the iron. And then the, the when the iron fell out when the water fell out this line occurred and i was like eh, i don't know man this is a perfectly straight line all the way through it's it's still strange very strange very strange stuff very aptly named though garden of the gods see there's this line there's this channel that's dug right through the middle of this very very weird stuff and these rocks are huge these rocks aren't just you know this isn't like some little tiny pebble <laughs> that I happen to take pictures of. These these are trees. These are rocks. These things are monstrous. These pictures do not do the size of this place justice. Again, same thing. You get these channels. And then on top of this, these these lines. And they're perfectly straight. Some of these lines are perfectly, perfectly straight. And on the bottom of it, you have this kind of crinkling um could have been seawater, could have been weird sediments building up on the bottom, could have been... First thing I thought was mushrooms, but that's just me. I, you know, I tend to think in terms of giants, of, of everything being bigger. So maybe there was something here. I even said at one point in time, maybe this is just one big, huge giant. You know, maybe this, uh, maybe this was like one big, huge animal. I don't know. I just thought it was very strange. There's this channel that runs right through the middle of this. It seems like it's perfectly cut. I don't know. I don't know what it is. If that is a water level, then I will agree. Okay, the water level was there. But you see this just one channel right here that's cut. and every it, It's like cut into the rocks, but then everything else dips around it. I always thought that water cuts through everything. 
that it wouldn't be like a channel, like it looks like a pipe. <laughs> it does. Whenever you get up to it, it looks like somebody installed a pipe into the dirt and then they pulled the pipe out. And then you had this perfectly formed piping. It's It was weird. So you walk through the trail again, you got more of this kind of stuff, big, huge rocks. Um, I, I was starting to say, you know what, these look like the kind of tools that you know our Cahokians and our um the angel mounts the the one-handed tools that's what these look like doesn't have to be i'm not going to say it is what it is or it isn't i'm just saying that was one thing i was thinking whenever we came through here uh this one you can see the tree grew up around it which i think is amazing that <laughs> this tree grew up around this rock uh, and again, this is like, it's like cut. It's not, I, I don't know if it's cut or if it's, if it's just the way it is. I don't know, but it's sitting on top of this. You have rocks that look like they're sitting on top of other rocks. Like they were placed there. It's just, it's a weird, weird place. Very, very strange place. And I, I again, I don't know if they were cracked or broke. Look at this, straight lines perfectly straight lines I was looking at this one and I said that's somebody placed that there somebody placed these rocks here or they cracked like that uh, there's another tree that was growing around this one I said these just they don't look right this is just the the one part of it the top part of it you know we're on the top of the mountain right here and I said these rocks don't look right they look weird you know, you get stuff like this. They look weird. After seeing all the videos of, you know, possibly petrified gods and possibly petrified trees. And, you know, after you see all these and you look at this kind of stuff and when you're there in person and you see how big these things are, you start, it starts making sense. It really starts making sense. Um, it's more of this stuff, more, more of the weird straight lines. And these look like they were stacked. These look like they were stacked on top of each other. Like this could have been a damn wall. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. This little guy right here this little carved area right inside of this, I was like, what the hell could have made that? What could have made this? And you, tons of these little places right here where there's like dark areas underneath where it looks like something was stacked on top of something else and there's a cavity. Tons of those kinds of things. You know, these little cavity areas down in here. So much so that some of them look like caves. And I was like, what causes that naturally? What could have naturally caused this rock? I mean, was this, did this break down here and separate from this and then this opened up? I don't know. I, I you know, I, I kept trying to think naturally, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, if there was a giant out here, really truly was a giant out here doing stuff like this, why? Why would they sit this stuff down? And the best thing I was thinking of was either a house or a wall or something. I don't know. But then you get the crazy stuff like this, which has all this kind of watering effect to it, where it looks like it's been underwater. I don't know. It's crazy. But you can walk right on, on top of this stuff. You go out here and they'll let you walk just about anywhere you want to walk. So it's, it's pretty nutty. You could walk right up on top of that if you wanted to. I don't know how many people they have actually fall <laughs> off of these things, but uh, but you can see this. It's it's this all you know, and it looks like the stuff you see underwater. I get that, but it's just really weird that this is this is still on top of the mountain. We're we're still at the top. We have not gone down into the valley yet. And then here's another picture of this from the side, and you can see. How this is all pushed up. And it's got that weirdness to it. And there's a cavity right here. A little open cavity. I don't know if this was a if this was a natural cave or if it was something else, but just tons of these little cavities in here. 
and you can see the size of this thing. It went all the way up to the, or all the way down to the bottom, came all the way up to this point. You make up your own minds on this stuff, man. It's, it's crazy. Now, here's another one where we, as soon as you turn around, there's one that's kind of jutting out over here. And you can see people standing on these things. They go right out to the edge. They, they'll let you do whatever, whatever you want. But it's a big, huge um, bluff. It, it's a, just a cliff. It's probably a good 40, 50 feet straight down. You know, it's huge, absolutely monstrous. But again, it's that, it's like this massive amount of rock that just happens to be sticking out the side of a big hill. Things like this, you know, just weird, interesting stuff definitely worth the trip if anybody ever wants to go see something cool if you live around illinois garden of the gods i cannot say it enough if you want to go see some weirdo stuff man see this is the weathering right here though you know that's that's good erosion that's good weathering right here why isn't the rest of it like this the rest of it's not like this of course this could also be people walking on top of it too i get that but the rest of the stuff in here is not like that. And again, right here, straight lines, straight, you know, this one's curved. This one actually has a, a, a full curve to it. Somebody shaped that rock. At least in my eyes, somebody shaped that rock. I don't know. I don't know. This looks like it's got a curve to it too. Look right through here. It's got a curve to it. This looks like it was connected at one point in time. That's got a curve. Like right down through here and then it looks like it was broken off there as well i don't know man it's so weird so here's some more of this stuff here's this channel popping up again um and these are smooth because people are walking on them and you can kind of see and it goes way out here and then once you get out to that point it's just a drop off like i said 30 40 feet just big, huge drop-off. Same thing. This is stuff that they put in later. This is the path that they put in. They said, There was a guy out there that was talking. He said none of this stuff was here um, when he used to come out 20 years ago. So they've just installed this stuff uh, within the past 20 years. Um, but he was saying that you know none of that was there. It was all just bare dirt. You basically just had to walk where you could walk but they still you know like i said they'll, they'll let you walk right out to the end of this thing no rails or anything it's crazy um more of these weirdy rocks that are laid on top of the rocks make of it what you will you get big ones like this big huge rocks like this that you know, just are laying there. It's just one big monstrous rock, and it just looks like something. But you can see down here, it's just drop off. We went out to the end of this one, and I think it wasn't this one. It was another one where we got up even higher than this that my legs started kind of getting a little rubbery, and I said, I can't, I can't go out there anymore. It's too much. It's too much. But again, here's another one of this where it looks like it was laid on top of this and there's a break back here i i don't know what this stuff was you can see beautiful views that was amazing views the whole time we were there we're looking out into the valley and it's just beautiful amazing views if it i wish it was a perfectly clear day and we actually the rain stopped for us here it was started sprinkling just a little bit as we were leaving but um it's a lot of people out there too but you can see all these are weathered down from people just walking on them but see there's more of them over here and as you start getting deeper and deeper into this you start kind of you kind of go up you know you keep kind of going up further and further until you get to the you know the very top of it and that's whenever you get to go out and you see the big huge view where the camel rock is and everything else but then you descend all the way back down and as you descend 
that's when you start seeing all the rocks that look like they could have been underwater for a while. Um, but it's just massive, massive rocks you start seeing on this side. And then it's like I said, once you, uh, once you get to the top, they start getting, it starts becoming a little bit more, uh, uh, it starts becoming different because again on this side these were just certain kinds of rocks that looked like they were laid on top of each other uh once you get into the middle of it it starts look like looking like just rock formations and then you know by the end of it it looks like you're in some kind of weirdy underwater <laughs> i don't know i don't know man it was nuts more of these more of these places where it looks like it was split right through here and then there's a cavity and then this is when I really started noticing this line now see the lines here and the line is here but it stops right here there's nothing on this rock and it looks like where you would lay a pipe it looked like a pipe it really did there's another one of that and I started noticing it more and more, these lines where it was cut into it. Right through here, this one's one too. You can just see these impressions where they go through, like this one right here as well. It looks like places where there used to be pipes or something. I don't know. But I started seeing them. I really started noticing but only on this side only at the beginning of the park because we went from left to right uh followed it clockwise followed the trail clockwise and we only saw these on that side we did not see these anywhere else layering 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 look at this layering and they look like they have breaks in each layer like they were laid on top of each other what is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird stuff. It's weird stuff. There's that there's that cavity again right there. This cavity goes through here. You can kind of see these coming this way. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Weird stuff. Here's a rock that looks like it's separated from this. I don't know if it was separated or if it was... If it was placed like that, there was a tree that grew up here, so maybe the tree grew up through it and cracked this rock somehow. There's a nice blurry picture. That was good. I took a picture of this one because it looks like a face. It looks like a head. It looks like some kind of animal head. Is it a lizard or something? I don't know. It's just it's crazy stuff, man. I have n I have no explanations for any of this stuff. I really don't. Uh, they do. They say it's all natural. <laughs> I say, okay, it looks natural, but man, some of this stuff just looks so weird. Again, these channels and the rocks. This one, of course, looks like it bowed up. So it's a rock that got bowed up. How did that happen? Uh, just uh, same channels. Same channels in the rocks. This one right here, perfectly straight lines, perfectly straight lines, all the way across. Now, again, it could be water. That could be water levels. They came in, you know, I don't know. But you got them here, too, and it looks like the rocks bent up. If that is a water level, then what is causing the rock to bend up to make, the, to make that straight line bend? What is that? But again, more of these cavities where it looks like the rocks were set on top of each other. They weren't part of each other. They were set on top of each other. Same thing right here. Cavities. But then it's the same thing. It's the channels, you know. This one's bent. There's another bent channel right there. I, if that is water, then why is this bent? And again, I'm not saying anything is or isn't what it is. I'm just saying that I'm just pointing out the weirdness. That's all I'm trying to do. 
But this place was amazing. These Again, these rocks were huge. I bet you these are probably 10, 15 feet long, maybe even longer than that. All these places like this, where they were all, you know, all worn down and flat. But then you've got the ones like this that, I don't, I don't know. Man, it's crazy stuff. There's another one. Channel. Straight through. Down on this one. There's on the lip right here. Straight channel. And this is when I really started seeing it. So this one is the one that I just took the picture of that's in the dirt. And from this side to this side, this one channel right here that goes all the way through, all the way around. Right here, it looks like it actually bows up. You see it right here? Zoom. That might just be the uh, that might just be the panoramic trying to trying to fix the picture. But right through here, you can see it from here to here. That was probably in reality. That was probably good thirty feet, just straight line all the way across. And I'm again, I'm thinking that was probably the panoramic trying to fix itself but it's just perfectly straight lines that are sometimes curved so this is whenever we got up to the top this is you can just start seeing camel rock you can see people out there see people out there. there's a dude out there right there people were climbing up these things to get up here that's the camel rock, though. You can go down in here and you can get closer and closer. You can get right on top of the thing if you want to. Actually, I don't think you get on camel rock itself, but I think you can you can get out there as close as you can. There's another one. They had a there's a whole group of people that were out here at one point in time. Um, but this is not the best shot of this rock. Angie took a better picture of this, and you could really see it from her picture from her vantage point. So, there's more of that. You see him? Uh, what did I take a picture of here? I don't know what I took a picture of here. What is this? Something. Something that didn't turn out. Just more rocks. Look at the size of that one. Again, looks like those tools that we saw, you know? at the other mound sites. So remnants of an ancient sea, of course, we're going to tell you that it's 320 million years ago, because why not? Imagine what will occur in another million years. Shut up. <laughs> so again, you can come down here, you get a better shot of this. Again, looks like a camel, because maybe it was. Who knows? Yes, there's a face right here, too. Um, who knows? Who knows what this was? So I just want to point out the channel right here on the side of this rock goes back straight and then it goes up straight. You see that? It's like if that's water causing that to do that, then how in the hell is that a straight line that goes up diagonally like it? Very strange stuff, because th if this is, because you can see, you can kind of see how this is all, this could have been underwater. Like, this would have been the water level right here. This could have been underwater because it's got all those, you know, weird striations and stuff. You can see them back here, too. So if this would have been the top of the water, then what went this way and then went straight up that way? God does not work in straight lines. What is that? That's a good picture of Angie. You can see there's a lot of these where it was split down the middle. Like it looked like a, a wall. Like they were placed here side by side. But they got tons of places like this where you have to jump over in order to be able to get to it and jump through here. This is the point where I started saying I can't, I can't go any further because my legs were starting to get a little wobbly. Because we were up here. We were, we were starting to get up. It was starting to be a bit much, but see, here's another good one right through here where they don't look like they've ever connected. These are, these look like just two rocks 
that were placed together like a wall i don't know <laughs> i don't know man it's weird stuff again right through here right through here there's another shot of this you can see you can just see how high like that's that's a person right there that's a person that's a person you can see how high up they were but it's beautiful views absolutely beautiful views but these rock formations are just weird the more you look at this the more you start seeing faces pop out there's a face right there too here's another one of these this one this was the one that caught my attention so flat lines they look like they got laid on top of each other this one had this weird this weird channel right through the middle of it here and on the bottom right in there this was something they put in so don't look at that that's not that's not even a part of anything but again this is you see it right through the bottom here and you can see the one right in the middle here. And it's even broken right there. It doesn't even go all the way through. And you can't you can't talk about the perfectly rounded tops because again, people climbing on these things constantly could have weathered this stuff down. But then this is the one that was on the underneath it, and this has that channel to it. It looks like a pipe was laid inside of the of the rock and then they just took the pipe out and it left the formation of the pipe I don't know what this stuff is I don't know what any of this stuff is what causes that what causes that right there you know there's another good shot of this this is where the part was broken and it didn't go all the way through but it goes all the way around the edge of this and actually gets worse over here it's like it's small here then it just kind of gets worse here what causes that and this has a lip to it on the side back here this has a lip to it and that's me taking a picture that lets you have an idea of what this looks like it, it's like a water channel is it water forcing itself through the rocks and then the rock cracks open right where the water channel goes through I don't know. I don't I don't know. It's very strange stuff, man. It's very strange stuff. But then on this side too, this is what it looks like. It just looks like something like you would take a you could take like a, a, a extension cord or something and then like, you know, step on it in the dirt and then pull the cord out and you would have this perfect line right here. This one went around the edge of this. You can explain it, say that it was water levels and the water was lapping up against it or something. I don't know, but it, so much of it out here. And I don't know what else it could have been. Then there's another shot looking right down the side. Gives you an idea. It's like a cutout. Very, very strange stuff. And this is the other side of it. Again, cutout. It's it's almost a perfect it's almost a perfect half sphere cutout. I don't I don't know what else to say about it. But ton of them. I think it was I took those pictures. I turned around and I said, Oh God, they're all over the place over here too. And you can see them. They're all over the place over here too. Right here, this one. Right right in the middle. Zoom zoom zoom. All of these crazy stuff those same those same little channels and I, I was asking I kept asking Angie I said what do you think these are she said maybe they were it was water and I said okay if it was water then then why is it only on certain ones and why are ones bigger than others how much how much of this water was going up and down you know what was what was doing this and then I started you know seeing the ones that were curved and i said then if it was water why in the world are these over here you know curved like this it's really really weird those look like stacked rocks like flat stacked rocks 
This one's got a channel in it, though. I don't know. This one's got a channel on the bottom in it, too. Tons of these. These have channels that go in both ways. These look like snakeheads. This one's got a lip to it. You can kind of see it coming around the side. It's got another channel on the bottom. It's crazy stuff, man. There's a weirdy one. This one had like a little lip to it down here, and then it has a lip on it on it right here too. It's like, wow, what is this? So here's another one from the back. You see, there's people give you a sense of scale right there. This looks like a face. This is my little goblin face. I was starting to call him my goblin. Little goblin face right here. I'm gonna try to get through this a little bit faster because we're running out of time. You see him though, little goblin head. But again, sense of scale. There's two guys up here sitting down. So I started seeing these caves. I don't know if it was on this one or not. No, we had to move out a little bit. I started seeing these little things, these little cavities, these little caves. It, it, we were able to get a better picture of this. It wasn't really a cave so much as it was uh, just an opening in the rocks. There was nothing underneath the rocks. So this was looking the other way, away from the Camel Rock. You can see the places where we were. And then this weirdy one right here, which is, it looks like two rocks standing on top of each other with this like little channel in the middle of it coming through. I, I, again, I, I have no idea how this could have been naturally made. There's another look at that cave, but it wasn't really a cave. It was just where the rocks were kind of jutting over. There's another one. It's another one of these. This is a big, huge one. There was like a waterfall back here. Um, but you can see straight, perfectly straight lines that would come through. But this went all the way back. This was like a good 30 feet, maybe even more. Went all the way back into the dirt. This is just another shot. You can see the lines over here, some stacks. Almost like stairs. There were places where these almost looked like stairs that had just weathered down, you know? I thought that was... That was kind of an, of a weird thing. Is this the steps? They kind of look like steps that had kind of withered over. It's another one. It's got these channels down the sides. Just some more in the back, places we couldn't get to, because it kept telling us not to go into the trees. So we can go just about anywhere else, but don't go into trees. I'm like, okay. That looks like a snake's head. I just figured I'd take it, you know, because like, you get up to a place, you look around, it's like, oh, look, it's a snake's head. So this is what they called the Devil's Smokestack. So this is this is a rock from the side. It looks like a penis. I get it. It looks like a penis. Um, the weirdest thing about it, though, is that it is leaning against this rock. This rock is separate. It is not part of this. It is not part of this. It is just a rock that's there, and this rock is leaning against that rock. This rock was purposely put there. I don't know if it was put there by modern man or what, but this rock stands up because this rock is here. Very, very weird thing. And they have trails. You can go all the way down to the valley. Let's see, Devil Smokestack from the wedged boulder at the top of the pillar. But it doesn't say why there is a rock wedged, and you can see it right there. It does not say why there is a, a rock wedged in between this that holds it up perfectly straight. There's a rock right there that holds this up. What is this? Now, this is just because it looks like a penis on this side. It's not. You, once you get over to the other side, you find out that it's like double the size. Um, interesting, though, because they say that the 
devil's penis is bifurcated, which means there's it's cut in half. I, I, just stuff that we were talking about, you know, just a better is a better understanding of, of how big this thing is. That's the rock. That's the thing. It's it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. That's a snake's head. I was taking a picture of. But it's it's just the weirdest rock formation I've ever seen in my life. This is the cave, supposedly, that I was talking about. You can see it's just a cavity where the rocks were. It's not really a cave. Um, again, the cave. Picture of Angie in front of the cave. Now, you can see it. See, there's two of them here. So it's twice as long as it, as it was from this side. So it's like there's... It's like it's got two heads to it. I thought it looked like a statue of something whenever I, you know, you can get over here on the side and you can see it from this angle. I thought it looked like a statue, but I don't know. I can't really tell for certain. It is just weird that this rock somehow got wedged down in here and it's the only thing that's holding this up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It is very strange. So here's again, Angie's there, the smokestacks here. There was a group of four people up here. It gives you an idea of how big Again, the scope of this thing. And again, I started getting rubbery legs, so I couldn't go out there with her. Um, usually not afraid of heights, but this one I, I was getting a little afraid of. So down here, this is the rock that was wedged. You got these weirdy circle patterns. Just weirdy circle patterns. I was just taking pictures of them. These are not normal. That almost looks like a snake, and I'll tell you what, the one in the center looks like a cross. It looks like that sun symbolism. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying that that's what it looks like, you know? It's just more of that weirdy, that weirdy spiral stuff. Right beside the wedge for a rock formation called the Devil's Smokestack. Take it as you will. See, there's another picture of it. Take it as you will. Do whatever you want to with it. It's weird stuff. So again, the rocks, whether that's natural or not, I don't know, but they look like they were stacked up on top of each other. I don't know. It's another picture, another view. It's a nice view. That's a good view. Snake's head, smokestack. Um, going up the hill a little bit more, more of these. Uh, you've got two of these here. Look like at one point in time they might have lined up, but it's cracked down the middle. More of this kind of weathered off, you know, they almost look melted. I'm not saying they're melted. I'm just saying they look melted. More of this. Water runoff probably, maybe. Who knows? More of these weirdy toadstool looking, you know, and remember, this is at the top. We're at the very top. We are going to start going downhill at this point. Um, 3,300. 3, I thought that was an interesting number. <laughs> just saying interesting number. But the Garden of the Gods, this was, this is just where it was. This is the whole area is, is right in here. Who knows what else is in there? They said you can go down in the valley, though. You know, you can go through all kinds of other... There's another trail down there. There's a, a wilderness trail that actually takes you through the trees. And you can actually see all this stuff from the bottom. We didn't take the wilderness trail because we were just... It was starting to rain. We were running out of time and we were tired. By the time we got out of here, we were done. We were over it. It was, it was a hike. It was a hike and a half. So there's Angie going all the way out there. This is one of those that she had to jump some rocks to be able to get out there. I said she was crazy, but she made it. So, again, beautiful views. Same old. So this is looking back at the ones that we had seen before. Um, more of these down here. This looked like a face. You can't tell. It looked like two eyes and a uh, mouth i don't know if i've got a better i didn't get a better picture it looked like a face but you know she said it didn't here's there's more of that channeling 
That looks like a face, too. <laughs> it's the same stuff, though. Same stuff over and over and over again. Um, discover our mobile tours. If you can actually get your phone to work. If you can actually get your phone to work. Dark reddish brown squirrels. This is where they talked about it mixing with iron and rust. And it caused all these dark brown bands. This looks like it was underwater. This is the kind of stuff you see down at the bottom of the ocean. Where the waters come through and, you know, it's caused all these little things. And I was like, it makes sense. Because we were at the bottom at this point. You see the stairs going up over there. So this is the very bottom of it. And this is a little waterfall. Waterfalls kind of come through here. And we kept seeing just these little weird things like this. I think Angie said this looks like a petrified tree. You know, it looked like a tree at one point in time. Well, maybe. I don't know. But I said I could agree with that. I could agree that the water level was here, or maybe up here, and that this used to be underwater. I can agree with that. But when you get up here and you look at these lines through the rocks, they just don't look right. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. Whether anything is or isn't, you know, what it was, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This actually over here was actually a cave. Um, it actually connected over to this other side. I think I got a picture of it. And you see up here all these formations at the top, and this could have been underneath the water down here. Uh, we've seen that. That happens in the oceans. I can agree with that. I can agree that the water level used to be there. I can agree this stuff happens. You know, <laughs> we've seen it before. I can agree that this stuff happens. You can see graffiti up there. Of course, if there's any place that you can mess something up, a human being is going to mess something up. Uh, weirdy patterns here, again, you know, they look like water patterns. They look like the kind of stuff you see at the bottom of the ocean. Same thing, you know. It looks like it could have been underwater. And I said, you know what? It was underwater. The whole world was underwater at one point in time. So this could very well happen. So I did not dismiss this. I said, this that's exactly what it is. So this is the other side. It's its a little cave. The, the water comes down through it. You can kind of see there's water coming down here. Because there's a little opening, and I think there's another opening up in here, too, if I remember right. It's just another picture of that water coming down. They said that when it rains really hard, that it will flood out this entire section down here. You can't even walk through here anymore, because the water just has no place to go. Um, this looks like my roof. Yes, my roof has moss on it. We're trying to get rid of it. It's more of this same stuff, though. I didn't say anything here. I was just taking a picture of this opening. I think you hear Angie coming here in a second. That's the water comes down. And they said the water will fill this whole area up whenever it rains really hard. That was Angie in the background saying that she filled her phone up taking pictures. I think I accidentally hit the button again because I was trying to take a picture. But you can just see. I mean, I've seen this stuff, you know. I can agree this was underwater. I'm not going to say it wasn't. Just weird formations, though, man. Just weirdy, weirdy formations, especially down here. Just the swirls. Really, really interesting place. And this is the only place that you see this you come down and you, you have to start going back up to get back to the cars beautiful place though beautiful beautiful stuff just crazy formation they when they called it the garden of the gods i agree it was a garden of the gods so same thing water level maybe and then all the swirls on the rocks down here you can see it 
All the swirls on the rocks. Just one big, huge, just rock formation. Or could it have been something else? I don't know. I have no clue. But you can see it up in there. And again, you can go everywhere. You could go everywhere through here. More of this stuff that could have been the water level. Who knows? This is either weathered or melted. I could not tell. More of the swirls. Even more of the swirls. More of this swirling. And then, like I said, at the top, you can definitely see the break. Even more of this swirling patterns. Save. I took tons of pictures of this stuff because it just looked... It looked amazing is what it was. So here's this narrow passageway, and it was just enough to be able to fit through. Um, just a really narrow passageway, though. They say narrow. They mean it. You have to actually turn sideways to be able to get through the thing. These little tiny, little tiny holes down in here inside of the rocks. And you can see the lip of the rock right here. Same stuff. Come out through here. Crazy rock formations. Same picture. Um, more of these. See, we're now towards the top again. We would now be over the water level, so we're not getting the swirls anymore. We're starting to get these, you know, but these don't look like stacked rocks like the other side does. These just look like rock formations. Just big rock formations. They don't look like the stuff we were seeing before. So I don't know. I don't know. You make of it what you will. Again. So this is where water has been trickling down through here. Looks like the same smushed kind of... I don't know. Amazing place, though. So I think these are the last, these are the last four. This is what Angie took. She, she walked out on the edge of the, uh, uh, the camel. She didn't go all the way to the head. She walked out here like this and took these pictures. These are her pictures. So she took that. She took the pictures. This is the kids that were down here on the top of this thing. They climbed up here to get to that. I said, you know what, if I was 20-something, I would probably do it myself. But this is this is the picture that you don't see them take. This makes it look more like a camel than anything else. You know, from the one side, it just looks like a camel with a big hump. This looks like a camel with two humps right here. And then, of course, there's that's looking out like that. And I think that is it. Wow. 200 and... What did I say? 250-something pictures? Whew. It was a lot, though, man. It was amazing. But then we... Um, from there, we were going to go to Giant City, which had another trail that you could get on and walk. And um, part of that was a rock that somebody had cut out the middle of a path through that was i think they said it's like 20 feet high this path through this rock huge and it looks like a giant cut it so they called it giant city but you walk through it it's like a i don't really know how to describe it but it's just it's like a path like i said just a path that runs it runs around through the the through the woods you know you get to see all kinds of stuff but then you see this it's just this it's a cut right through the middle of a rock that you can walk down into and it's way bigger than any man needs to have <laughs> needs to have the rock cut for him but it's you know 
we were going to go see that, but we, uh, the way the GPS took us, it took us on some back road to be able to get back there. And once I started getting on this back road, it's like the skies opened up. It's just pouring down rain, absolutely pouring down rain. And the closer we got to this thing, the closer I was like, man, it, you know, if we get there, if it stops raining, we'll get out and we'll look, but we just have to get there. But we kept going down further and further into this valley. And the further down we went, the more I started seeing the drainage ditches on the sides of the roads filling up. Uh, so much so to the point that it was, you could start seeing the water coming right up next to the road. And I kept thinking, if we go down any further, we're going to be, we're going to be washed out. And sure enough, as soon as we turn the next corner, we see water just pouring over the road, just pouring, absolutely pouring. And it went right down into another valley and we made the turn and we stopped right at the top of this hill looking down into it and it was just water just water all over the road and angie was saying we're gonna get washed out i said i know we're not going that way um so we backed out and went back the way we came and i could not get a signal on my gps or on the phone to save my life because again we there's no service there's zero service out there so thankfully we found a church and um, we stopped at the church i pulled my map out thankfully we we picked up a map of illinois as soon as we got there pulled the map out found a way out traveled all the way around this place and we looked back at the area where we were and it was nothing but clouds nothing but rain um and we said, if I miss Giant City, that's fine. We'll come back later. I said, look, the rain is only over one place. <laughs> it was raining, thunderstorms, everything, just constantly pouring down in just the one place. And I said, you know what? We don't have to go. We don't have to go see this. We can always come back. Um... Of course, then I found out the next day that uh, there is actually a thing when when people go out to these these places where they talk about giants, they say that the giants lived, or it might be a graveyard where there were giants, or something like that. When people go out to these places and dig in these places or do things in these places there are actually stories where the heavens will open up and it will start pouring down rain. There will be thunder. There will be lightning. There will be the whole, the whole kit and caboodle that will force the people out from what they're doing. And I heard that the next day I heard that and I said, wow, that was exactly what happened to us. We were going to a place where we could possibly see stuff that had to do with giants. And sure enough, we got washed out. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm not saying one thing leads to another, but it was what it was. But that was our trip. It was after that that we decided that we were just going to head home. <laughs> we, we, got a, we, we got the map to lead us back to civilization. Uh, we found a highway and we drove back to the room that we were staying at. And then the next day we went home. Uh, the next day, the only thing we saw was a place in Indiana called new harmony. Um, we just stopped and drove through. It was kind of like a historic place, you know, been there since the 18 whatever's. And, um, yeah, it was kind of a neat little place, but we didn't get out and stop. We just looked, but that was our trip. It was uh, it was wild, man. It was a wild trip. We learned a lot of things. I got to actually see these places that I've been talking about for the past three years. And to hear somebody talk about them and to actually go out to these places, again, it's two completely different things. You cannot know what these places are until you actually go out to them and see them, experience them. So it is, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, 
I learned a lot. I really did. I learned that uh, when somebody tells you that it took, you know, 10,000 people 300 years to build a mound 100 feet high, you know, one 50-pound bag at a time, 51 million times over that 300 years for a guy that wouldn't be born for, you know, that for a guy that wouldn't be born until the very end of it, you ask questions. That's what I learned. You ask questions. So anyways, um, that's where we are. That's where we are. That's where we were. And that's what it was. So <laughs> I got five minutes until I got to log in to work now. <sighs> I knew this was going to be the big one because it was a big day, man. That that day three was a big day. We We spent almost all of our time on the road. Because again, driving out to Kincaid Mounds is if you if you ever try to go out to Kincaid, understand you're going to be gone for most of the day because it is out there. It is way out there, but it is worth it. You know, again, I thought it was just going to be like four or five humps out in the field that we we're just going to get out, take some pictures, and leave. But no, it's it's legit mounds out in the middle of nowhere. I'm surprised that they haven't, like, put up an interpretive center for as big as that place is. But whatever. Okay. Well, now that my nose is starting to run again, I'm going to stop. I'm going to say thank, uh, thank you guys for coming around and listening to me go on and on and on about this. An hour and 40-something minutes. Uh, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. If anybody's got any questions about anything, if anybody wants to, you know, talk about anything, wants me to go back over anything, I will totally do that in another video. Uh, Monday, we're going to get back to reading, reading Isaiah. I don't know which, what are we on? Are we on 39 yet? 39, 40? I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, maybe on Wednesday we might, I might go back and recover some stuff you know, or if there's some other current event, which is happening, which I think it's coming. <laughs> I'm just saying it is the, uh, it is the season of evil from here until January. You got to watch out, man. But it is definitely the season of evil today. The next three days are going to be interesting. You're going to hear a lot of people saying a lot of stuff, doing a lot of stuff. 9-11 is on a Sunday, right? Saturday, Sunday. So 9-11 <laughs> is on a Sunday. Um, what is the 23rd? 23rd is on a Friday. Oh, boy. 23rd is on a Friday. They love to do stuff on Fridays. Next month is October, isn't it? We're already... God, we're right on top of October. Holy smokes. All right, anyways. I, uh, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. God bless every one of you. Again, you know, I can I can go over some of this stuff again if I, if I need to. If there's anything else that pops up, you know, I'll bring it up. But uh, thank you all, and I'll see you later.